Cox Communications is proud to support the Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. The Orange County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce represents the interests and provides access to Orange County's 30,000 Hispanic-owned businesses. The Chamber supports the development of all businesses, individuals, nonprofits, and youth by providing opportunities for networking, legislative advocacy, access to capital, education, and training programs. For more information, visit OCHCC.com. Brought to you by Cox Communications, committed to supporting and celebrating diversity. Welcome to Cox OC Connection. I'm Lacey Kelly and this is Civic Connection. You've just been watching a PSA for the Orange County Hispanic Chamber and today I'm visiting with the President and CEO of the Chamber, Ruben Franco. Welcome. Thanks Lacey. So tell us a little bit about the history of the Hispanic Chamber. Well the Chamber was started 28 years ago. It was started by a group of Hispanic business owners who just, you know, felt they needed help. You know, emerging Hispanic businesses didn't kind of have anybody to to go to, to, to talk to, to, to you know, resource with, to talk to you about different issues they may have, whether it was access to capital or networking and such. And they started it 28 years ago and it's been going strong ever since. Excellent, how many members do you have? We have over 754 members. Wow, that's a lot. And yeah. those are all in Orange County? Those are all mostly in Orange County, but okay. we have some that are, that are outside that still support what we do. And so what issues are you dealing with now? Well, I mean, you know, there's always access to capital, I mean, especially the s smaller businesses. It just depends. We run the gamut of having small to medium to large businesses. And so every segment has different issues. So small okay. business, access to capital was a big deal, especially six years ago after the recession. And of course. Things that, things that hit them, they couldn't really find funding. Uh, regulation is always a big deal. So we, you know, we go up to Sacramento every once in a while to advocate on behalf of being a little bit nicer about that. Yeah. Uh, middle middle businesses just trying to get kind of to the next level to become, mm -hmm. you know, how do I how do I grow my business? And then big businesses, there's there's always bigger issues that they have. So we're we're we kind of help all three of those segments. Okay, great. So you cover it all. What um, specific initiatives does the chamber have planned? Well, we really want to help Orange County grow. You know, so um, two of the bigger initiatives that we have are like Visita OC, which is a Hispanic language uh, website that we have in Mexico and Latin America that will be promoting travel to Orange County. Oh, fantastic. And that's you know something that we're working close with the Orange County Visitors Association as well and, and other uh, partners on you know how we can get people there to spend money here mm -hmm. and grow you know our businesses, spend nights in our hotels, visit all of our you know theme parks, visit our retail shops and help Orange County grow. Oh, and then we're, we're also working on trade initiatives too, okay. which will help uh, people grow their businesses beyond our borders. We call it growing your business or cross-border initiative, basically. Mm -hmm. And we're work we've been working on that for, for many years, but we want to continue to grow that. So if you're looking at maybe domestically, your sales are kind of flat, how can I grow my business beyond our borders? And then what are the issues in growing that business? You know, how do I fund it? You know, how do I network? How do I develop that business? What are the legal issues? With it. what are the accounting issues? So there's just a lot more involved than if you're going to go to a foreign country and trade. It's a little bit uh, more complex, but we try to help with that complexity and maybe accelerate or fast track them on that. That's that's impressive, yeah. Ruben. Um, in what other ways do you partner with other organizations? I just heard you talk about two you're partnering with. You're partnering with the association as well. Yes. Yeah, we're partnering. Talk to us a little bit about your partnerships. Well, we love partnering with with everybody. I mean, I think the nice thing about Orange County, and as you know, with with your organization is we're very collaborative. We like to collaborate with different organizations and actually on trade we'd like to uh, partner with the uh, Orange County Business Council. And Lucy, mm -hmm. we, we suggested doing uh, an event together next year to talk at a high level. She had, a, she had an event uh, in October and said, hey, let's do it together. And so we, we try to do those things together. I know we do our holiday party together. We're doing a legislative event with your organization mm -hmm. later this month. And so you know, we partner with all the other ethnic chambers, all the other uh, city chambers. Uh, we try to, you know, we're trying to be very inclusive with all the universities and the community colleges as well. So we enjoy being very collaborative. You guys are really busy. We and are. you've grown a lot in the last couple of years. We have. We yeah, have. We've taken great. a lot more uh, initiatives and just to be, you know, be a leadership organization within this community. Right. And you have an education foundation. Can you tell the viewers about that? Sure. Our foundation basically funds a couple different things. It funds business education, which is what helps our businesses grow. 
So whether it's accounting or you know, m trying to figure out what social media is like or whatever type of issues they have, we can help fund that training through the foundation. We also fund what's called our Youth Chamber, which is a very successful program. We have over 384 members of that chamber. And those are kids that are made up of all the universities around the county here, and they're welcome to join for free. And we give them an opportunity to join or, and actually create their own board of directors. Wow. And come to me with a budget, and we're trying to give them resources they might not have at a university level. So we're really, we're lo really looking to get them to the next level. How can they interview better? How can they network better? And I tell them, you know, when I was their age at 18 or 19 years old, I didn't get to meet, you know, people like you or people like Lucy or, or different business leaders within the county at that age. You kind of had to earn your stripes. Right. We're, we're helping accelerate that too, you know, help them with how they can grow and, and succeed in life. So right. that's been a great program. I've met some of those kids and they're very impressive. You're doing great work with they them. They are. And then we also have an additional program too, which we call our high school career clubs. And the high school career clubs were in 11 high schools. And we try to bring to them speakers to those high schools about different careers. And a lot of careers that kids don't have family members that were in those so they don't of think careers. of them? They don't think of them. They're not top of mind. You know, so those are the type of things. And fortunately, we're you know, uh, that foundation's funded through like Cox Cares and Disney and Edison and nice. Honda and different type of organizations that have been really great to us. We're very blessed in that regard. Well, excellent. Well, thanks for sharing a little bit about the Hispanic Chamber today. It's nice visiting with you. Appreciate well, th it. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You bet. That's it for Cox Civic Connection. We'll see you next time. <laughs>